Hey everybody, this upload is on what is called pan evaporation rate. This is off of uh, CNN Tech. I've been jumping around, but I just stopped here. They go over it briefly, but uh, I just wanted to start talking. Anyway, pan evaporation rate is simply the study of how much water is being evaporated into the atmosphere and at what rate. This study has been going on for, I guess, 100 plus years. It's a very exact science. There's a very standard model of how it is done all around the world. Now, this is done for farmers, uh, helping them out with uh, irrigation, uh, studying weather cycles, drought patterns, things like this. Now, what they do is, uh, this is off of Wikipedia, by the way. What they do is they fill up a tank full of water, stabilize it, and they close, uh, set up a wind gauge also, and they closely monitor how much water is evaporated and at what rate. And it's very carefully calculated, and it is just compared to studies done, you know, previously. Now, over the last 50 years, scientists have noticed that the pan evaporation rate has been decreasing, and by as much as 50% over the last 50 years. And I found this truly alarming when I first heard it, uh, I believe on a Nova show called The Dimming Sun, if I remember correctly. But I always remember the term pan evaporation rate. Now, you take this evidence along with the evidence of global warming. Now, global warming is a topic that has been debate, debated heavily, but the evidence is pretty overwhelming that the Earth is warming up. And this is what has led to what they call the pan evaporation paradox. This is simply the discrepancy between what experts believe to be the uh, model of evaporation rate to what is actually happening. Now, there are certain ecological and hydrological models out there that are run and they say that if the earth is warming up, the pan evaporation rate should be increasing. But it is not. It is decreasing and at a pretty good rate. Now, there is only one explanation for this, and that is the tre tremendous amount of pollution in the air. And I think this has led to uh, weird weather cycles, and uh, we have kind of like a tug of war going on. We have the earth warming up, yet we have a dimming of the atmosphere due to uh, all the uh, pollution in the atmosphere, and it's leading to the phenomenon, what they call global dimming. And I think this relates directly to droughts around the world. There's no area of the world that has been immune to droughts, and they seem to be getting worse. Here in the United States, we've had really bad ones uh, in Texas, out west. Uh, I lived in Vegas for six years. There, I went two straight years between 2003 and 2005 without feeling one raindrop for two straight years. And I just think this is a tremendous concern. Global warming is, uh, you know, all the issues on that is a whole other topic. And uh, it is concerning, you know, there's talk of the polar ice caps melting and sea levels going up. But uh, if you look at, you know, history, I think that has been going on for quite some time. But the pan evaporation rate dropping in the last 50 years, that should raise some alarm bells. And I just always remembered the term pan evaporation rate. And uh, maybe you will too. Have a good one.